The panspermia hypothesis. Humans originated on another planet and later arrived on Earth. With more and more discoveries with each passing year, the chance of life originating from outer space has grown. Along with that, the panspermia hypothesis has risen in plausibility, over the years which suggests that maybe humans could just be ancestors from Mars or derived from asteroids or comets. Carl Sagan, a world-renowned astronomer, once stated that the nature of life on Earth and the possibility of life beyond Earth are two sides of the same coin. Both issues are answered in the case of the panspermia hypothesis. The panspermia hypothesis implies that life exists outside of Earth and that life as we know it on our planet originated outside of our atmosphere. The spokesperson of the panspermia asserts that a variety of astronomical objects, including other star systems, asteroids, comets, and even Mars, contributed to the origin of life on Earth. Some of the most compelling evidence from recent findings indicates that humans or some other beings may have lived on Mars in the past. Another line of evidence that lends support to the panspermia hypothesis is the fact that the earliest incontrovertible evidence of life in the geologic record occurs around 3.8 billion years ago, close to the end of the late heavy bombardment, LHB. The LHB was a period of time during which the rate of collisions between planetary bodies into the solar system was much higher than it is today. Many say that any life on Earth before the LHB would have been wiped off, implying that modern life as we know it would have required an extraterrestrial origin. Did the human life really come from Mars? A meteorite was discovered in 1984 in Antarctica's Allen Hill region. In 1994, it was determined by geochemical and microscopic research, that the meteorite was of Martian origin and that it was also a particularly unique Martian meteorite. The meteorite was discovered to contain complex chemical molecules called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, which are typically linked with microbial activity. Additionally, they discovered iron sulfide combined with magnetite. Ordinarily, these two minerals do not coexist in the presence of carbonates unless they are created by life. These unique finds within the meteorite caused many experts to believe they were proof of possible Martian life. There is currently, no known process for the formation of magnetite granules of that kind in combination with iron sulfide in the absence of life. The question of whether or not life existed on Mars will likely remain unanswered, until a sample return mission is accomplished in the 2030s. More evidence is accumulating to support the hypothesis that Mars was once a wetter, more hospitable planet where life could have thrived in the distant past, but this is far from conclusive at the moment. Even if it is shown that life existed on Mars, the possibility that life originated on Mars could have seeded life on Earth, carries further consequences. There are two major concerns about the prospect of Mars life seeding life on Earth, according to scientists. The first is whether any form of life could have survived the trip from Mars to Earth. The second difficulty is that there are grounds to suppose that life would have developed more probable on Mars than on Earth first. Even if bacteria survived the impact event and the highly hostile environment of outer space, would they be able to survive the millions of years of trek from Scientists Mars to Earth? Scientists indicated that they had cause to assume that life could have formed on Mars initially, rather than on Earth. Due to the fact that Mars was unlikely to have been covered in a global ocean and to have had periodic wet and dry seasons, it may have been easier for life to form on early Mars than on Earth. For all we know, the human race may be entirely composed of Martians. Another prevailing theory among those who believe in the panspermia hypothesis, is that of comets and asteroids. Another possibility suggested is that a comet may have been infiltrated with life while passing through the upper atmosphere of a life-rich planet allowing life to implant itself on the comet without the comet having formed. If comets did bring life to Earth, they almost certainly brought water with them. While it has long been assumed that comets produced the water on Earth, isotopic examinations of comets have revealed that many of them have a different deuterium-hydrogen ratio than the water found in Earth's seas. Recent research on comets indicates that some of them have persistent deuterium-hydrogen ratios similar to those found in Earth's oceans, implying that comets may be the source of some of the planet's water, life, and organics. Another possibility for the origin of life is asteroids, which are stony rocks found primarily between the orbits of Jupiter and Mars. Numerous meteorites have exhibited signs of aqueous alteration in the interiors of their parent bodies, indicating that they were sufficiently hot to contain liquid water. Did life come from other star systems? To begin, 
Most scientists questioned whether bacteria contained within dirt clods or microscopic rocks could survive the vast distances between the stars, especially considering that a journey may take hundreds of millions, or perhaps billions of years. Additionally, it was believed to be exceedingly improbable that any objects from other star systems would ever approach a planet in an alien star system close enough to collide with it. This opinion has shifted significantly in recent years, owing largely to the discovery of two interstellar bodies that traveled through our solar system in the previous several years. The first is Aumuamua, a Hawaiian name that translates as, first messenger from afar, Aumuamua was found in 2017 by astronomers using a telescope owned by the University of Hawaii. In 2019, the second object, 2I, Borisov, was discovered. Scientists continue to debate the nature of Aumuamua. It has been described as everything from collisional debris of an exo-Pluto to an alien lightsail. This indicates that passing interplanetary objects are significantly more common than previously believed. This has resulted in many scientists becoming more receptive to the prospect of life traveling not only between planets within the same solar system but potentially between solar systems. Since the panspermia hypothesis was initially considered as a possible scientific explanation, it has been contentious, to say the least. Recent findings and technological advancements have redeemed the panspermia concept, indicating that it is a strong probability.